Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday update recorded on the 26th of June. A large low in the Tasman Sea moving in towards us. You can see it here circling around in the central Tasman. Rain bands out to the east of it moving into the western side of New Zealand and the cold southerly portion moving up the eastern side of Australia off the coast of New South Wales. Plenty of heavy thundery uh, showers heading there towards sort of Lord Howe Island. So at the moment we've got rain and wind. There are a number of warnings and watches issued out by Met Service at the moment. Please keep up to date with those as this severe weather moves up the country. You can see here this evening where the windy weather is. It's in the bright shading, so across the North Island, but much of the South Island sees that wind or feels that wind easing as we go on towards this evening. So gale force winds around Cook Strait, and there could still be some gales around the top of the North Island, around Auckland and Northland, as the system starts to come on in. So subtropical winds over the top of the country, big southerly change behind it for Eastern Australia. Let's make more sense of that. Here is lunchtime Friday. So the area of, of rain with the heavy falls is quite narrow. We've seen this all week in the modeling and it hasn't really changed very much. As I said yesterday, when you look at the radar as this comes in, you probably see it's quite messy with sort of blobs of heavy downpours in a line, uh, which might have some thunderstorms. They're most likely to be fairly isolated, but that could also come on through. Around it all, not necessarily a lot of severe weather from a rain point of view for the North Island. So you need to keep up to date with those warnings. They're going to move around a little bit. And the hourly rainfall data we've got, which makes sense of when it starts, when the peak is, and when it should be easing. But there might be some hit and miss downpours as this comes on through. And wet weather coming back in around the South Island as well as that large low moves in. Some of that weather now coming in, that wet weather coming into the east. Canterbury's already been wetter and cloudier lately. This doesn't really help that very much. Stays fairly dry in the east of the North Island though. That's the area that actually needs the rain, perhaps more than anyone else in New Zealand. And Southerners, not too bad. It's mostly dry for you. Let's have a look at the frost. So some of that frosty weather returns this weekend. Saturday morning, some frost return, the winds are lighter, the skies are clearer, and then we jump over to Sunday and those frosts expand further. But again, most populated places, especially coastal areas, not on that frost risk, and the North Island looks frost free. Noon Saturday, you can see why, uh, plenty of showers and also milder winds, still got northwesterly winds for the North Island. They're not as warm as they will be today though, because today's winds are coming out of the subtropics. These winds, these northwesterlies track the origins. It's coming from south of, of the North Island, although you keep following them, it goes back up to the subtropics. So it comes down, cools down, curves around and comes back. So that's going to, you, you'll feel the temperature dropping a little bit. It's not a major temperature drop. Most of the cold weather is in the South Island. Low pressure just off the coast of Dunedin. And again, that low pressure zone sort of returning to central areas as it showed a couple of days ago. So it's a large kind of lazy low pressure zone. Showers may be heavy for the North Island and rain could be heavy around Otago, uh, coastal Otago that is, and some parts of eastern Southland around the Catlins going down uh, towards sort of Stewart Island, it fades out. So you've got a burst of wind and rain just there on Saturday. By Sunday, the whole country is under a, under a southwesterly flow. So the temperatures drop a little bit, uh, not so much at the top of the country, more so at the bottom part of the country or the southern part of the country. Uh, still a few showers in the North Island could be heavy, but much of the South Island is actually dry on Sunday. There might be a shower that just clips Banks Peninsula, a few showers around Fiordland, what's new? Um, so there we go. Not a, not a terrible weekend, but certainly a bit unsettled. So let's go into next week. Huge areas of high pressure coming in from south of Australia, ballooning out with another high pressure zone now forming around the Tasman. That encourages southwesterly winds, and if you can see it, the blue line coming in, sort of moving up the South Island, that means polar air is moving back in again, just a little colder than it was. The North Island's not really under that. By Tuesday, no real change, except this low forming off the coast of Australia. For New Zealand itself, we've actually still got high pressure stretching out and into the North Island and to some degree the South Island. But again, it's colder the further south you go and westerly winds blowing, which means it's not that cold for those of you in Southland. But certainly the temperatures are down at the moment. We've actually seen a number of South Island regions being a little bit colder than usual, whereas uh, some of the northern parts have been the other way around, warmer than usual. Middle of next week, Okay, so uh, this is what we often call a, an invisible brick wall in the sky. 
The high pressures on south of Adelaide, stretching all the way out to New Zealand, keeps New Zealand mostly settled, dry, frosty maybe in the mornings, certainly colder with the light winds and the clearer skies. And then offshore, you've got this large low. Now that's going to be pushing in some rain and wind for Australia, and it's likely to drift to New Zealand at the end of next week. It's not locked in yet. You'll have to wait for another couple more updates from me. But at this stage, it looks as though it's in the right position to drift towards us as the sort of high pressure zone here snaps apart. But we'll keep a close eye on that. Things may still change over the next uh, couple of days, looking towards that. And before I go, rainfall. So the, the rain bands, as they've been for the last couple of months, really broken up. Some places getting some very heavy rain, other regions right nearby not getting the same amount. What we're seeing here is a similar kind of setup. So bottom of the scale is, is uh, the pink, purple, and the dark blue. So that's sort of around Southland, uh, and also around the area that's been the driest, which is Hawke's Bay. Hawke's Bay over towards Manawatu, parts of Wairarapa. Upper. Those areas are not likely to see as much rain. Heaviest rain, unusually, is in Nelson and Marlborough. They've got the heaviest totals, while Fiordland does not. Fiordland's one of the wettest places on earth, and Nelson has you know, the highest sunshine hours in the country. So it's all a little bit upside down at the moment, but that makes sense when you've got a northerly wind blowing on through. So keep up to date with those Met Service wind warnings and the rain warnings, plenty of marine warnings as well. That is all from me for today. We've got an Australian update out as well. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow Friday with our next update going into the weekend.